Most diets and weight loss programs today have people do some form of counting calories. Even if you're counting points, you're still counting calories. So the question is, does counting calories work when it comes to weight loss? Hi, I'm Stavros, the How to Lose Weight for Life expert and the creator of the Live Your Weight In System. In this video, I will be answering the question, does counting calories work? Well, it all depends on what do you mean by work. Can you lose weight by counting calories? Absolutely. But can you keep the weight off after you lose it by counting calories? The answer for the vast majority of people is a big no. And before I can explain why the vast majority of people can't keep the weight off after they lose it by counting calories, uh, there are a few things you need to know about the conscious and subconscious mind and how they work. As you probably know, we all have a conscious and subconscious mind. The uh, conscious mind is the mind that you think with, and your subconscious mind is like a program that runs in the background without your awareness. Did you know that your subconscious mind runs 95% of your day? Only 5% of your day is run by your conscious mind? The reason for that is very simple. Your conscious mind has very limited processing power. Basically, it can only do one thing at a time. Think about it. Can you hold two thoughts in your head at the exact same time? No, you can't. Well, yes, you could switch from one thought to the next thought and keep going back and forth, but you can't hold both thoughts at the exact same time. Your subconscious mind, on the other hand, because of its almost unlimited processing power, it can do thousands of things all at once. So it makes sense that your body gives over to the subconscious mind any repetitive actions so you can free up your conscious mind to focus on the more important stuff in life, like having fun. Basically, the way it's supposed to work is that when you first introduce a new action into your life, the conscious mind is in full control of that action. That is part of the reason why when you do something new, it requires a lot of focus. As we repeat that new action and we become more familiar with it, it does not require as much focus because many aspects of that action are taken over by the subconscious mind. Think about it when you first learn how to drive. I am sure you could not do anything else while driving because all your focus had to go towards the task of driving the car safely. Over time, as you got more comfortable with driving, you could talk on your cell phone, you could have a conversation with a passenger and or uh, tune the radio. The reason that you can do all that stuff now while driving is because many of the tasks involved with driving were taken over by the subconscious mind. So your conscious mind was freed up to do other things. Now, let's get back into counting calories and why it's very hard to keep the weight off after you lose it by counting calories. You see, counting calories requires mental effort, in other words, thinking. Because this type of thinking requires calculations, it has to be done by the conscious mind and the subconscious mind can never take over. In other words, counting calories can never become a habitual behavior. Yes, with practice, you could become faster figuring out how many calories is in a meal, but the fact remains, you still have to use your conscious mind. Now, here's my question. If every time you eat, your conscious mind has to uh, first focus on figuring out how many calories a meal has, guess what your conscious mind is not focusing as much on? Enjoying the meal. Remember, your conscious mind can only do one thing at a time. So if part of your focus goes towards figuring out how many calories the meal has, it can't focus as much on simply enjoying the experience of eating and the flavors of the food. This could leave you with a feeling of deprivation and over time, this could lead to burnout. Don't take my word for it. Think about it. How many people do you know who have lost weight by counting calories? Now, how many of those people were able to keep their weight off? I bet not that many. I got into the weight loss field back in 1992, and I only know a few people who were able to keep their weight off by counting calories. So if you ask me, when it comes to sustainable weight loss, counting calories does not work. Now, the obvious question, which I get asked a lot when I tell people that counting calories does not work, is this. How are you supposed to know how much to eat if you can't count calories? Well, 
learn to listen to your body. Your body will tell you when it needs food and when it does not need food through true hunger. I want to emphasize here that I said true hunger, not cravings. Most people mistake in cravings for hunger. If you start eating only when truly hungry, or at least most of the time, and stop when you have satisfied your hunger, you will automatically eat the right amount of food without having to count or measure anything. Today, unfortunately, most people eat by the clock. They eat because it's breakfast time, they eat because it's uh, lunch time, and they eat because it's dinner time. How many times have you stopped and think before you ate something, am I truly hungry? Once you learn to eat out of true hunger, you will find yourself not eating nearly as often as you do today. One of the first eating habits that I teach my clients through my Live Your Way Thin system is how to identify true hunger and start eating because of it and not by the clock. The one great thing about learning to eat out of true hunger, uh, besides weight loss and better health, is that with a little practice, it can become a habitual behavior, unlike with counting calories. Imagine going to an all-you-can-eat buffet and not worrying about overeating because instinctively you will know when to stop eating. If you need help with learning how to eat the right amount of food without having to count calories or points, check out my Live Your Way Thin system. I've included a link in the description of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, hit the like button to let me know that you enjoyed it. Comment below if you want me to cover uh, something specific. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Also, I would greatly appreciate it if you share this video with your family and friends uh, to help me spread the truth on how sustainable weight loss and good health can be achieved. Thank you. Thank you.